adding a domain in Office 365 for verification. So what I will do right now, I will add a domain in my Office 365 portal and verify that I own that particular domain and so that we can proceed further. So I'll switch to my Office 365 portal here and I will add a domain itsense.net that I own. There are two options to verify. One option is to provide the credentials. If Office 365 knows some well-known um, domain provider or registrar, like for example GoDaddy, it recognizes that this domain is registered with GoDaddy. So I have an option that if I keep this option selected and say next, it will ask me for GoDaddy credentials. And if I pro provide the right GoDaddy credentials and it can validate against the GoDaddy authentication service, it will verify that, yes, I own this domain. Second option is if I don't want to provide credentials, I need to add a text record on my domain DNS and I will go for this option. And this is the record I want me to add. Once I will add this record, I will wait like few minutes and say verify. So it will make a query against my domain itsense.net DNS zone for this text record. And if you find these values, it will verify that yes, I own this domain. So I will move to my domain manager. This is the DNS for my domain. Say add and I choose text record value is add and what's the text value they want me to add here is this right so copied paste and save so this text record has been added to my domain DNS. So what I will do, I will just wait for a couple of minutes and I will click verify. So hopefully it will be all good. So let's wait. Okay. Let me try to click verify and see. I did not wait that long, hardly a minute. And yes, it did detect that I own the domain. And second option now, it wants to add DNS records for itsets.net to my GoDaddy uh, DNS zone. As you know, uh, Office 365 offers many services like Skype for businesses, Exchange Online and all that. So it requires so many records, service records, MX records, host records. One option is to do it manually by yourself, which is very, la very long and cumbersome way. And second option is this wizard can add it for you if you provide your, again, credentials to log into your domain provider. In my case, as I'm using on-premise exchange, I don't want to cut the mail flow. I would like to change or add my public DNS after the cutover migration or after performing exchange migration. So I will say I will add it to record myself. It will generate a list of records or domain records that I need to add later. I can say skip this is tab because right now I don't need that. All right, so skip and domain has been added and there will be a warning sign because DNS records are not added yet. And it makes sense. That's fine. And I know, and I know that. Of course, I, I can't use Office 365 services yet for my domain because I did not add appropriate records which will point towards Office 365 servers. But that's fine in my case. So this is it. And I'll see you in next trade.